Hey everyone, welcome back to Max's Corner, but before we start, make sure to subscribe to this channel if you love sports and autographs and baseball cards, and follow me on Instagram at Max's Corner YT, and let's get right into this video. So today, uh, I'm going to be sharing with you my uh, Harold Baines TTM, like, journey. So basically, I'm going to put it together on camera right in front of you guys uh, in a minute, and... Um, I'll show you guys what the card looks like after I get it back, if I do get it back. And, um, yeah, if I get it back and it has, like, a sweet Hall of Fame, uh, 2019 inscription, like I politely asked for in the letter, hopefully I'll be able to send him a ball, and I'm gonna be sending him, uh, his rookie card. And then, here's the letter. Uh, it basically just says, like, hey, I'm a huge fan uh, it's about time you got into the Hall of Fame, and, like, I would be honored to have you as probably my best TTM that I've ever gotten. So, I'm just gonna put this thing together. Alright, so I just got this back in the mail. I don't know who it is, it's a surprise for me, but of course you guys know who it is because of the title of the video. Um, but I just wanna say one thing. I hope it's signed. You can never, sorry. You can never go into a TTM return thinking that it's signed. Like there's never a guarantee. You always wanna go into these things thinking, I don't know if I'm gonna get it signed. You wanna do everything you can to get it signed, but you there's never a guarantee. So I'm going to open this up and hopefully it is signed. Harold Baines with the Hall of Fame inscription. It's a little bent up here. Gosh dang it. But still, Hall of Fame inscription, Harold Baines, that's super cool. Um, This is a real uh, 1980 Topps card. It's his rookie card. It's really cool because he signed Hall of Fame inscription too. That's amazing. Oh man, it's creased a little bit though. I still got a sign that's super cool with the Hall of Fame inscription. So yeah, I'm really excited about this one. So I sent this card out on June 4th, 2020. And I got it back June 13th, 2020, which is today. So a nine day return, that is super quick. All right, so I've learned my lesson. Uh, before or after I sent this out, I started putting thin layer of, like one thin layer of cardboard inside here to make sure that it doesn't get bent this way or this way. Um, but obviously I didn't put cardboard in there and there's pretty good sized crease in the card. So, I always put a thin layer of cardboard in there. You might see uh, in my next couple videos that I have cardboard inside the envelope so it doesn't get bent. You should really try it too because it really helps with probably almost a guarantee that your card doesn't get bent. Of course, remember there's always no guarantees, but it really helps your card so there's a lower chance of it getting bent. Um, I'm really excited about this return. Thank you so much for watching Max's Corner. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below uh, any questions or comments you have, or go comment on my Instagram post at Max's Corner YT. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, comment, share with your friends, and follow me on Instagram at Max's Corner YT. And I'll see you guys later.